Good afternoon. The Department of Environmental Affairs has expressed its disappointment following the decision by American Airlines Delta Air to ban the transportation of all lion, leopard, elephant, rhino and buffalo hunting trophies. The department says it believes that the airline was ill-informed when it took the decision. And according to the department, while hunting is now controversial following the killing of Cecil the Lion in Zimbabwe, they want Delta Air to know that in South Africa, the hunting season is a very important part of our tourism and our economy and that it is a highly regulated one. Over to the US where John Stewart bid 16 years of The Daily Show farewell last night in his last ever show. You did this show for this long and you kept it this good for this long wow. and you stayed with the world's events and you were a voice of reason and you were funny. Um, it's really like one of the great comedy ac- accomplishments of all time that you did. Very so, nice. Very nice. Very he is moving over to make space for our very own Trevor Noah, who will take over at the end of September. And if you tell her what I want, what she really, really wants, then maybe we will get an idea. That was my attempt at spice girling. If your life has been spiced up by the news that the Spice Girls would reunite next year for an international tour, then the next story might leave a sour taste in your mouth. According to Baby Spice, or Emma Bunton, as she's known in the real world, she has no idea whatsoever of any plans to get together next year. This after the other four... Mal B, Mal C, Sporty Spice and Bosch Spice yesterday said that they are looking into plans for an international tour in 2016. And would you believe it or not, the reason next year it would be 20 years since Wannabe first hit our brains. That's it for the Friday. Join me again on Tuesday because Monday is a public holiday for Women's Day in South Africa.